That has infuriated that man, Stuart Varney. Good morning to you, Stuart. Yes, it's a case of gross hypocrisy, is it not? You just ran video there of the Occupy Wall Street movement right. that was heavily, f not necessarily funded by, but organized by and supported by the unions. Sure. It was sometimes viciously anti the 1%, the top income earners, okay? Mm -hmm. Who are those top 1% people? Union leaders. I've got a list of the top union leaders and how much they earn. And they it. are firmly in the 1%. Look at this. Headed by the, uh, the principal state workers union guy. He makes $512,000 a year. We have Randy Weingarten leading the teachers. She got uh, $493,000. And by the oh. way, Ms. Weingarten is the lady who left the New York State Teachers Union with a check for $194,000 in unused sick pay and vacation she days. Took the bigger job. So if you're a union member and you're seeing this, is it for the first time or is there a transparency that you usually get on Wall Street? I'm you? sure they know what they earn. Uh, are they being they held by their that? bosses then? Why aren't they, shouldn't they be outraged? Who? The workers the people who are on the union dues of course they the management. Should. Look, if you make $343,000 a year, you are in the top 1%. Sure. Clearly, all of those union leaders make more than that. They're firmly in the top 1%.